Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project with GCP. Now before we move forward, we need to take a look at a few things and that we are going to explain in this video. But before diving into that, please subscribe the channel because that would really support me to grow. Alright, so let's dive right into it. So uh, there are a few things that we need to know. Uh, this is a very basic architecture of how things are going to flow in this, in this uh, project. So we're going to push code, going to write some code in Python, a very basic code. And then we're going to push it into cloud source repositories that is going to trigger a build. We're going to create a trigger that will go to the cloud build and that will save an image, a Docker image. We're going to talk about that and that will happen to be saved in container registry. All right. So these are the few things that you need to know before you do this project. And in this video, I'm going to explain them in a, in a way that uh, that is uh, important for this. Uh, for this project. All right. So uh, the first thing would be the Google cloud source repositories. The second thing would be cloud build. The third thing would be build triggers. The fourth thing would be container registry. And we will talk about a very basic project creation. All right. So let's dive right into, right into it. So the first thing is Google cloud source repositories. Okay. So uh, Basically, Google Cloud Repositories is a fully managed source code version control service provided by Google Cloud Platform. It allows you to securely store and manage your source code in the cloud. With Cloud Source Repositories, you can collaborate with team members, track changes to your code base and easily deploy your application. Okay, so let's talk about a few key features. The first one that you are seeing on the screen is code versioning. Uh, cloud Source Repositories support Git version control, allowing you to create and manage multiple branches, track changes and merge code seamlessly. The next one would be secure storage. Your source code is stored securely in the cloud, eliminating the need for local backups. Google provides robust security measures to protect your code. The third one would be collaboration tools. Cloud source repositories enables easy collaboration among team members. You can grant specific access permissions to individuals or group facilitating efficient code reviews and development workflows. Next would be integrated with Google Cloud Platform. So cloud source repository seamlessly integrates with other Google Cloud services. You can easily connect your repositories to services like Cloud Build for continuous integration and deployment, which is CICD that you know of. All right, uh, the next one would be code search and discovery. Cloud source repositories provide a powerful search functionality, allowing you to find code snippets or files very quickly. This helps, uh, this feature helps streamline development and code reuse. The next one would be code browsing and history. You can browse your code base, review commit history and view side by side difference uh, to understand changes that made uh, to your code over the time. All right, uh, then we can talk about GitHub integration. Cloud source repositories offer GitHub integration as well, allowing, allowing you to automatically mirror repositories for GitHub to cloud source repositories. This integration simplifies the migration of code bases and enables you to take advantage of Google Cloud services. The next one would be continuous deployment. So cloud source repositories can trigger build and deployment processes automatically through integration with code, uh, Google Cloud Build. This helps you to automate the deployment of your application based on code changes. Overall, uh, GCP Source repository provides a secure, scalable, and collaborative environment for managing your source code in the cloud. Whether you are working on individual projects or with a team, it offers the tools you need to streamline your development process. All right. So this is a very basic idea of Google Cloud Source Repositories. In the demo, we are going to see how to uh, how to how to create one and how to uh, uh, browse it. All right. Uh, the next one would be Cloud Build. All right. So a uh, cloud build is basically a service provided by GCP that allows you to automate the building, testing and deployment of the software applications. It is a fully managed continuous integration, continuous deployment platform. With cloud build, you can define a build configuration such uh, using either a YAML file called a cloud build dot uh, YAML or through the cloud build uh, API. Basically, uh, these build configurations, specifically the steps uh, required to build and package your application, run test, uh, and deploy it to your desired environment. All right. So cloud build basically supports a wide range of programming languages and build tools, making it flexible and adaptable to different uh, to different development workflows. It integrates seamlessly with other GCP services such as cloud source repositories, container registry and Kubernetes engine, enabling you to build, test and deploy your application with ease. Uh, by automating your build and deployment process with cloud build, you can save time, reduce errors and improve overall efficiency of your software development lifecycle. All right. So this is a very basic idea of cloud. 
the next one would be build triggers. In GCP, a build trigger is a configuration that initiates a build in cloud build when certain conditions are met. It serves as a trigger mechanism to start the build process automatically based on the predefined events or changes in your source code repository. Build triggers can be set up to respond to various events such as commit based triggers. These triggers start a build whenever a new commit is made to a specified branch or tag in your source code repository. The next one would be pull request triggers. So in this triggers, uh, st these triggers start a build when a pull request is created, updated or merged in your repository. This allows you to perform build and test operation on the proposed changes before merging them into the main branch. Third one would be timer based triggers. These triggers initiate a build at specified intervals such as every hour, day or week. They are useful for regular automated builds or scheduled tasks. The next one would be PubSub, which is uh, publisher and subscriber triggers. These triggers respond to messages published in PubSub topic. You can configure external systems or services to publish messages. And uh, when those messages are received, cloud build starts the associated process. By creating build triggers, you can automate the build process and ensure that your applications are built and tested consistently in response to specific events. This helps streamline your development workflow and uh, promotes efficient collaboration within your development team. All right. The next one would be container registry. So uh, what exactly is container registry? The GCP uh, container registry or Google Cl Cloud Platform registry is a service provided by GCP that allows you to store, manage and deploy container images. It's a private container image registry that integrates seamlessly with other Google Cloud services and tools such as Google Kubernetes engine. All right. So with the GCP container registry, you can securely store your container images in a central repository repository, uh, making it easier to share them with the development team or deploy them to your production environment. The registry supports popular container image formats such as Docker and provide features like access control list, which is also known as ACL to manage who can access and modify the images. Uh, in summary, basically, you can say that GCP container registry is a service provided by Google Cloud Platform that offers a secure and scalable solution for storing, managing and deploying container images facilitating the development and deployment of containerized application. And the next question comes, uh, why should we use a uh, GCP uh, container registry? So there are multiple reasons which uh, you might consider using GCP registry for your container image management. The points are the seamless integration with GCP. If you are already using GCP services for your infrastructure application or Kubernetes clusters, the GCP container registry offers tight integration with these services. It simplifies the deployment process by sim seamlessly integrating with Google Kubernetes engine and other GCP tools. This will allow you to deploy containerized, containerized application quickly and efficiently. The next one would be scalability and reliability. The GCP container registry is designed to be highly scalable and reliable. It leverages Google's infrastructure, which is known for its robustness and ability to handle massive workloads. This ensures that your container images are always available even during peak usage periods and can be deployed reliably across your infrastructure. The next one would be private and secure image storage. The GCP container registry provides private image storage, meaning that meaning you have control over who can access and modify your container images. You can manage access permissions using access control list ACL, ensuring that only authorized users or services can interact with your images. This level of security is crucial for protecting your intellectual property and sensitive application code. The next one would be global distribution. So the GCP container registry has global presence. So which will allow you to distribute your container images across multiple regions effortlessly. This enables faster and more efficient deployment of your applications to various geographical locations, improving user experience and reducing the latency. The next one would be versioning and tagging. With the GCP container registry, you can easily manage different versions of tags of your container images. This allows you to maintain a history of your image channels, roll back to previous versions if needed and manage different versions for different environments, example, development, staging and production. The last but not the least is compliance and auditing. The GCP container registry offers features that help you meet compliance requirement and perform audits. You can track and monitor access to your container images, view logs and usage statistics and integrate with other GCP services for security and compliance purposes. Overall, you can say using the GCP container registry provides a robust and secure 
a secure and integrated solution for storing, managing and deploying container images in cloud native environment. Whether you are building microservices, deploying application to Kubernetes cluster or adopting a DevOps approach, the GCP Container Registry can streamline your container image management workflow and enhance your overhaul development and deployment processes. Alright, so this is a very basic idea of Container Registry. Now let us dive right into the demo part. Okay, so we are at the dashboard right now. So here you can see welcome GCP project. Now there are a few things that uh, you need to understand before you move forward. Uh, the first thing is that uh, you're working on project my first project, you can create your own project and you can name it accordingly. This is your project number and this is the ID. This is very important because if you're going to click on this cloud shell activate cloud shell, it is going to open something like this and just try using echo dollar dev shell underscore project dot id it will have it automatically and this is very important for your this project because in this video uh, you are seeing this equus impact 389711 but uh, in the other video you will find it different so it can depend on the type of a project that you are using it can uh, differ okay so do not panic if it is not exactly to what you think of okay so uh, let's uh, dive into a few things uh, you can just go through this part and uh, these are the things that uh, would be available with this uh, account uh, let's talk about cloud source repositories okay so here is the documentation for that if you can click uh, you can just go through that documentation and for the marketplace you can just uh, click on that so uh, here is the documentation if you want to study a uh, quick start create a code repository how do you do that you can click on that and it will give you the whole path how you can do that so this is something that you can do the documentation is perfect you can add get push origin master everything would be covered over here all right and in the cloud source repository this is go to cloud google codes cloud uh, source repositories you can go there and these are the uh, repositories so uh, why do we need that you can uh, see deploy in minutes fast go search fully manage kit unlimited private repositories get started you can create a repository over here you can create a new repository continue uh, you can give it a name any name uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how to create but this is how you generally create and uh, you can uh, use the project equace impact and the or the one that you have i'll be using for quick labs that is for gcp or you can create a new project once done that you can do is create okay i'm not going to do that right now i will be showing that in the next video cancel okay uh, let's uh, let's go back uh, the other thing was container okay sorry I was typing somewhere else container registry this was the one okay click on that and then hit, uh, let me close this this is the place where you will be seeing the, all the images that you will create and right now it's empty you do not you won't be able to find anything over here because I have not put anything over here okay so uh, in the next video i'll be doing a demo in that you'll be able to find the images all right so uh, this is the registry api if you want to enable it you can enable it okay let's let's enable it it can take up to some time so in this uh, there is a whole documentation over here what exactly does it do okay it has started okay perfect transition to artifact registry and you can just go through it how uh, you can uh, see a few tutorials recommended for you overview of container registry quick start for container registry pushing and pulling images configuring access control there are multiple things available over here these are the settings that you can see okay so this is how your container registry would look like let's go to the other one which we talked about is cloud build okay so this is cloud build you can go inside uh, it can take up to some time in, in order to open you have to enable everything that you have to use for the first time okay so overview cloud build google cloud platform continuous integration and continuous delivery platform lets you build software quickly across all languages that's what we explained right so this is uh, something that uh, you use while you build inr 5 rupees uh, build time this and this everything so this is the pricing you can uh, study more about it click on enable because this is what we are going to use in this project in the next video you're going to see that all right uh, so this is one thing and uh, let us uh, wait for that uh, for it to be enabled 
Okay, so this has been enabled and you can run a sample build over here, create a trigger. trigger. So this was a trigger that we were talking about uh, in, in, the, in this video. Uh, you have to cre create a tr trigger uh, if you want to do something automatically. All right, so uh, just go over here and you can create a trigger over here. So uh, folks, I hope you have understood what we have talked about in this project. The next video would be around 40 to 45 minutes of video. And in that one video, we will do everything. And that would be the gist of the whole project. All right. So if there is anything that you need to understand, if there is anything that I have missed, feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.